Hi guys. So anyway guys, I just want to show you a couple things that I found today in my house. Um, I was going through some of my stuff and I found this box and it had my old Valentine stuff in it from last year. So I'm going to be showing you some of the things that I do have from last year that they're repeating this year at the Dollar Tree. For instance, there's a pack of um, felt hearts. Now, again, I don't know if they're repeating these ones this year, but there's a couple of things in here that I've seen being repeated, okay? But here's a pack of felt hearts. How adorable are these hearts? I think they probably will end up repeating these. So let me put them back in the little pack. Um, and then this I put in there because I wanted to show you how I made... Uh, this is one of those squares. I didn't use this, but I'm using this a, as an example because in the toy section in Dollar Tree, but I found this in Dollar Tree too. This is a little bit harder than what I'm going to tell you about though. But in the toy section of Dollar Tree, you find two in a pack of the dice that are this shape. Or you can find the smaller square dices. But it just so happened that I used the um, two in a pack, but I got, I'll show you. Instead of keep talking about it, I'll show you. Okay, so this was a foam dice, and it's pretty much the same size as that, although that is hard. But this is, I think the foam dice only come two in a pack. I'm not definite on that. I don't think they come four in a pack. But anyway, I'll show you what I did. So last year, when I very, very first started my YouTube channel, it was right around Valentine's Day. Like when I really started getting into the craft part of it. So I got those foam dice and I painted them white. And these things have to be painted a couple of times. Use chalk paint um, for them to really cover so you can't see the, like the little dice circles. And what I did was I did these little letters came in the crafted square section of the Dollar Tree. I have some leftovers. And... So I painted them red, okay, and then I just glued, hot glued the letters on to the dice. How adorable is that, right? And I forgot that I even did that, but you know how like you find things and you're like, oh yeah, I did that. And plus I've seen them stacked like this. Well, is it going to stay? <laughs> it looks like it's tippy, right? So, I just wanted to show you that, guys. What a cute little thing you can do, right? That's a cute little DIY, and that's really cute on a tear tray because in one of my earlier videos, my, like probably one of my first ones where I was doing the DIYs, I showed this, I'm pretty sure, on my first tear tray, and I showed you how I made the tear tray, too. Let me just show you another cute thing I made. Okay, guys, so I took um, four little, like the little Jenga block things. I think they're called Jenga blocks or building block towers. And I painted them red. And then these little letters came in a pack at the Dollar Tree. I think I found those little letters. Um, Oh, I want to say that, well, yeah, I think I found them in the Crafter Square section. But you can find little letters in there in other sections, too. I'm just trying to think of which what other section is. I just can't think off the top of my head, but if I do remember, I'll link it. But these were like little, um, without the little dots on them, little Scrabble letters. But I found some Scrabble letters, too, in there. They're um, sticky back with the little dots at the end of the words. Um, I can't find them right now, but if I do, I'll show you those. That was last year's craft, but you could do it this year. You could do it with bigger Jenga blocks. As a matter of fact, I might do it with my bigger blocks and bigger letters, but I figure why not get a, you know, head start on the Valentine stuff. You know, if I can show you what I did for cute little projects for like tear tray things. And then last year they had this pack of wood hearts and they more than likely will have this pack of wood hearts again. I don't see why they wouldn't. Dollar Tree does a lot of repeating, okay? And what I, I'll show you what I did with one of the wooden hearts. 
So Dollar Tree also had wooden huts that had like the the printed word love on them too. Um, and I don't think I had these before I did this, before I did this thing. So anyway, I turned this over and I'm going to paint the other side of it this year. I'll get to it. And I painted that like a really pretty, you know, pink. You can get pink paint and mix it with white to get that really cute baby pink color okay and those beads come in a pack but in I want to say the florist section of Dollar Tree there's like a little section that has like little beads in it they're like little pearls like the, the aisle with like the mirrors the little glass things and then Dollar Tree always has yarn that was one of my first attempts at making a pom-pom Okay, so I strung the beads and then I just freehanded the word sugar in a Ray Dunn style because I love the Ray Dunn print. And I just thought that was so pretty. And that was also on my tea tray last year. And then guys, these foam letters came on the stick. They came in a pack. They didn't come with the straw on them. But I stuck them in a straw to make them look like, you know, on my, I had like a hot cocoa bar right around that time too that I themed for Valentine's Day because it's still pretty cold in February around here where I am. So I put that on my tear tray in a cup and then put all the other, you know, straws around it. But I made, I stuck these in straws to give them some color. You know what I mean? But then I stuck regular straws in there too for people to grab. So I thought that was really cute. And you get those, I'm pretty sure, in the Craft a Square section. But Dollar Tree throws their crafts around here and there. Seasonal, so I'm not sure. And guys, more than likely they're going to repeat this this year. Love, XO, XO, and Valentine. You know, in that metal, um, that galvanized metal stuff. I already have some of these, so I don't want to take these out of the pack right now. But grab these, because there's some great DIYs, and I'll show you a couple in the future. And guys, I thought I had one more DIY I wanted to show you, but I thought it was in there, but it's not. But I'll just tell it to you after I show you these little sacks that I know they're repeating, okay? I know they're repeating these because I saw them on the wall in there, so I didn't buy them. But this is from last year, the treat sacks. And they usually come in like a plastic. And this is another one that they had. There's three pieces in here. And then this one has the pink heart. So be on the lookout for these guys because they are repeating them this year. Okay. And one other thing. I just showed you this one that says sugar. But you can really write anything on the heart. And a girl I work with, like she's a a big um, wine collector so I did a little play on the words and instead of writing be mine I wrote be wine so I thought that was so cute and she loved it okay it's just a little play on words but I thought it was really cute so anyway guys that is it for my cute little DIYs I'll show you and guys I hope you're having a great night and I'm starting to get a hoarse voice because I'm getting tired. So that's I was like, hey, guys. But anyway, guys, I hope you're having a great night. And just a little, um, you know, a couple little things that, like I said, if you want to get a head start. And I'll be thinking up some more stuff. All right, guys, have a great night. And I will see you in the next one. Bye now.